Alrighty, so, uh, a <laughs> little bit older, not old, but uh, The Witcher 3 came out in 2016, and uh, I remember buying it originally, I think it was the year that it came out, I'm pretty sure I bought it pretty much as soon as it dropped, uh, and I loved it, it was such a good game, and I've been kind of on like a single player kick lately, where I've been playing through some of the single player games that I've not only just been sitting on and waiting to get to, um, but just playing some of the other games, like I, I just, you know, played through uh, God of War, the the 2018 remake, or not remake, but I guess it would be like a reboot, um, but I just got finished playing with uh, through that uh, like a little while ago and so I moved on to The Witcher because I just I remember it being so good and I just wanted to play it again uh, which I don't normally do but because I played it when it originally came out I, I, I think uh, back in 2016 and of course I played through the DLCs as well after they dropped I don't know how far along they dropped after um, the like the game itself came out but um, yeah, it's been a while. Obviously, you know, 2016 was quite a few years ago. That's like six years. So I, I thought maybe, you know, this might be a good point. I maybe have forgotten a, a decent enough amount of the game, but I, I really haven't. This game is just so good. It's so memorable. Uh, but even then, like normally when I'm like, oh, like I kind of want to play through a game again, uh, like I'll reboot it and I'll sort of play around with it for a little bit, like a couple of days. And then I just eventually, you know, stop, stop logging in I stop playing the game again uh, and it just kind of sits I whatever the new save file that I made um, it just goes to waste it just <laughs> withers away kind of so when uh, when I got back into this game I was kind of expecting the same thing but man I'm pretty sure I put 80 hours into my original playthrough of this game uh, and I've doubled it <laughs> I now have like over 160 hours in this game because I have just gone through the entirety of the base game uh, I think I'm literally just lacking you know finishing the very last mission uh, I'm pretty sure I can't remember if it's exactly the last mission or not but it's really close to the last mission um, of the main story I've done all of the Hearts of Stone DLC again uh, that one was really fun and I was kind of working my way through um, playing the uh what is what is the other one called blood and wine where you go to toussaint uh and that one's really really cool as well I'm, I, I think i'm only around halfway through maybe not even halfway through toussaint unfortunately uh, i don't know if i'll really get around to doing it at this point because i've already sort of kind of moved on but even then getting all the way through all of that content and still like being engaged and wanting to play the game again uh was a, a huge treat to me to be honest and so if you haven't played this game by now i mean i know it's a little old at this point but even then you know it's it's just got so much content like this is like it feels like when Skyrim or like Oblivion first came out and you're like oh wow like these are pretty cool games and you like end up spending like a hundred hours playing through the game because there's just so many like cool side quests and things that you can do and things that you can work on and this game is no different like there's just so much content in this game there's so many like just little little things that you can do like there's witcher contracts which are always really fun where you can go around and fight like these you know hard monsters and uh like you know, there's Gwent, which is, Gwent is honestly probably the only reason why I wanted to play this game again, because I love the card game in this game so much. Like, you know, there's, there's all kinds of really good combat and, you know, world building. Like the game's beautiful uh, and there's so much to it and there's so many quests and everything, but I got on this game because I wanted to play the card game again. And I, there's a standalone Gwent card game as well, but I just, I know that it's probably like more updated and they've back balanced a lot of things and stuff um <laughs> but it's just so good man <laughs> like uh like i've never thought i would really like a, like an in-game card game because normally it's like an afterthought it's something that's not really all that fleshed out or whatever but like you can legitimately just go around the world and collect cards and build different kinds of decks and stuff like that and there's just there's there's just so many people that you can actually you know play cards with in this game to unlock more cards and you know just you know it just goes deeper and deeper it's so much fun so i love love the cards i love gwent it's so much you know so good uh combat in this game is fantastic when you're doing witcher contracts and stuff like that obviously uh every single creature in the game has um you know their own you know bestiary sort of uh whatchamacallit bestiary 
entry where you can go through and you can look at all of these crazy monsters that you fought and it'll tell you like oh hey like if you're fighting a werewolf you know you want to use moon dust bombs or you want to use devil's puff ball bombs or you want to you know put cursed oil on your blade so that way you do more damage to him or when you use your signs you want to use igni because it's going to be the best for him like every every you know monster has their own sort of like weaknesses and quirks to them that you can sort of just take advantage of if you really want to and if you play on the higher difficulties you're probably going to have to um to like really make things a lot easier on yourself because like just i don't know it's just there's so much depth to everything that they've done in this game and like the main like the main story and stuff like that is really good i was really worried when this game originally came out because i remember seeing like the e3 trailers and stuff like that where he's like riding around on his horse and he's like he sees a griffin or whatever and he fights the griffin um and I was like, wow, this game looks really good, but, you know, it's the third game. Am I really going to know what's going on or anything like that? And luckily, this game does a really good job of um, just making sure that you're not, like, super out of the loop, I guess. Like, some of the NPCs and stuff like that will just kind of catch you up. Or, you know, you just you get invested in the story for this game. Uh, and playing the other ones are just kind of like a bonus. Like, where, you know, you get more of the backstory and everything like that. I definitely recommend if you can play the first two games that you do. I've tried... I had to play the first one uh, like three or four times and I just can't do it. It's just so dated. I just I just can't bring myself to actually play through the entire thing. Uh, but I had a friend who played it and he loved the first one and then hated the second one so much that he, he didn't play the third one, which is so unfortunate. But this game is just so good you've got you know two different swords because obviously once for monsters once for humans um there's you know there's all kinds of different armors and stuff like that that you can build there's tons of cool characters that you can sort of you know meet and do quests for and it's just god it's awesome you can go to the brothel of course you can go to the brothel and have sex with women that is a thing um, I know that some there's like the one complaint that I see about this game is that people are like oh well I wanted to make my own character and role play as that character and that's fine and dandy and all but honestly it's kind of nice to not have to make my own character and him not have dialogue or anything like that because most games that you make your own character they don't like they don't have a voice or when they do it's very minimal or whatever like I love the fact that I'm playing as this character he's already got this whole world built around him people know him you know this and that like he he interacts with people because you know he's he's a part of the world I, I feel like you know sometimes when you play a game uh where <laughs> you know you build your own character it's not quite like you're just i don't know nobody knows who you are kind of unless the game just sets that up for you and i don't know this game does a really good job of just like you, know, you just get to meet so many fun and interesting characters there's so many different like crazy enemies and monsters that you get to see as I'm walking around, obviously. The game came out a long time ago, or not a long time ago. It came out in 2016, which is not really a, a bad thing, but the, the, I feel like it's, it's very common with open world games like this where you... <laughs> the more you explore and you go into some of the like random areas and stuff like that you'll see small things like a rock with a weird texture or whatever but you know you can look past all that because the game is gigantic like the game the world map is so big and like all of these little spots on the ground are different things that you can do <laughs> and i have I have forced myself in this playthrough to go around to every single one of these things and make sure that they're all cleared, at least in this area specifically. So this is the um, Velen Novograd area, but you can also go to White Orchard, which is where you very first start. It's obviously not, not nearly as big, uh, but it's kind of like the tutorial kind of area. Um, these two are lumped together. We were just looking at those, but then you can, you know, about halfway through the game, you're like, oh, like probably going to be winded down kind of soon, and then you go to Skeleton which is like a whole island in of itself uh, and it has you know smaller islands around the coast of it and it just the game just opens up that much more which is so insane to me um, it's just 
it's ridiculous how much stuff there is in this game, how much content there is, how many quests, side quests. Um, there's so many cool Easter eggs or just like small things that change from playthrough to playthrough. Like if you do things in, you know, a certain order, you know, characters will talk differently or, you know, you, you gain information early. You go to the guy who gives you the quest or something like that that you've already done. And he's like, oh, wow, like that's cool that you've already done this for me. Like I'll pay you extra or like just small little things that sort of like make it worth exploring and it's just it's a damn good time honestly like i've gotten so many hours out of this game i would love to put more like i don't know interesting gameplay but it's really hard for me to talk uh, it's like i don't know just while i play and i don't want to i don't want to do this like as a voiceover because that's lame so <laughs> either way um definitely if you haven't bought the game already it goes on sale for like seven dollars you can get like you can i think it's eight dollars actually but you can get the game of the year edition which comes with both of the huge dlcs well, hearts of stone isn't like super huge but it's it's a really damn good story um you get both the deals or both of the dlcs and the base game for like eight bucks nowadays if it goes on sale on steam so uh there's really no excuse not to play this game eight bucks for a game that you can get 80 hours out of and that's just with like a that's with like a pretty con, like quick playthrough as well like if you wanted to you could up the difficulty make things harder explore more of the stuff um do like every single side quest there is there's just there's there's an ass load of content so definitely worth worth messing around with if you haven't played the game already you get to know the character you get to know the world a lot of cool stuff just going on in general and you get to sort of meet you know fun characters so that's really all i have i don't have anything else to say i just i've been on a single player kick lately and i've just really been enjoying the games that i've been playing so i'm just kind of talking about the ones that i've finished recently uh or revisited so that's it thanks so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you in the next one